Hello everyone. Today I'm going to showcase one of our new user interface tools that you're going to find very useful. Uh, to start, notice that my computer has a two monitor setup and each desktop is uh, signified by its corresponding number, monitor 1 and monitor 2. Uh, to show this feature, I'm first going to launch our demo project in monitor 1. And note in previous versions, if you wanted the application to stretch across two monitors so that you could look at, say, a report and a graphics view at the same time, you first had to, you know, minimize the application or, and then drag it all the way across both of your monitors like this. And then also the same thing for each viewport and then put your report window over here. Um, the new feature I'm going to show you today is how to attach and detach reports. So for example, let's run lines reports summary. And you see we get the normal report in the application session like this. You can minimize it, you can drag it around and it's still locked within the application like always. But if you right click inside of it, you'll see in the context menu down to the bottom, there's the ability to detach the window or detach it to a certain monitor. So if I tell it to detach to monitor 2, you'll see it shoots it over to monitor 2 and maximizes it there. And it's now free of the application session. So I can take it and I can shift it over to any monitor I want and I can use window snapping features to maximize it or bring it down or snap it to the right half of the screen or the left half, things like that. And then also, if you right click inside of it, the report will still support all of your other context menus like table view and go to functions, um, as well as importing and exporting. Um, you can also choose to attach the report window back into the application if you want. And that'll bring it back in. And then same thing, you can dechat back out. The other thing I wanted to show with this is if you hold down the control key and hit plus or minus, you can toggle up and down in various subsections of the report. And if you can't, if you'd like the uh, button interface better, what you can do is enable that through schema. The command for that is actually located under edit here. And you'll see there's a next result and previous result and the control plus and control minus indicators there. So if you wanted to enable this via the custom toolbar, let's say, you can go to view, edit customizations, custom toolbar, and then if you scroll down through the menu items here, you'll see there is an edit next result, control plus. And edit previous result, control minus. Put these in a desired toolbar and select them to be icons. And you'll see now that there's a button in our custom toolbar and we can hit control down and we just go down through various subsections or we can hit control plus to go back up. And it will cycle back up from the bottom so you can just keep clicking up for, and keep going through all of them. So these are, these are kind of the new features. Um, look for them in the, in the next version. Um, I hope you found this video useful. Uh, thanks for using Powerline System Software.